Chapter 4. The Breath of Air. Gotta remember the control. Space, but I forgot to say before, um, there's a shipment of Syntixi that the Pointestras are arranging. I'm, I'm gonna investigate it while you take space. Ooh. Well, I'll keep an eye out for anything new. Thanks. Uh, okay. Bye. No, your when your relationship with yourself this isn't quite heavy. I need a break from talking about some Tixie for a minute. Only you're that way. Not the way I'm headed. No. Kuna said it better myself. How can I help? Can't find dads this good anywhere else. This window. Hmm, not a bad look. So dark. <laughs> I kind of like this one a lot. Oh wait, that's the one that pulls. That's why that one dude is flying towards me. Okay, so we are using. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Where the hell's that commander again? Hey, Rungs. Do you ever get overworked and just worn out from all your training? You don't want to let fatigue creep up on you. That's when you can really hurt yourself. If your body needs rest, Echo, you've got to let it rest. What do you do to rest? Take a nice bath. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> Fine. Something fun that helps me rest is stopping by a cultivar. The fresh air helps blood flow, and you never know when there's going to be a cool new species there. Rungs? Are you a secret botanist? I like nature. So what? Uh, all right, all right. Hey, thanks for your help. Do you remember the Wrath of Zahn? The kid's story? Sure. Yeah, well... I fucking ran into it, bro. I found the source material. <laughs> I was there! The I saw it! Monster. Karina Veraza's cultivar is close by. You could try there. She's one of the kinder chem barons in the city, but I wouldn't be surprised if she was involved in some shady business, too. It would feel pretty good to get some fresh air. Chair and think about how to help future Echo. So I don't end up with his life. The Veraza cultivar isn't far. I'll go see if it's open. Hmm. Hey, Lynn. Just popping in. It's great to see you. Hey, what do you think about adding a booster to the bottom of Trevor's new leg? Then he could fly around the room. Cool! He's only got like, he's only got one robotic leg though, so what if he just goes in a circle? Huh. All that shit on the map. Look at the map and saw. Oh. Yeah, you see, I saw this little hole. Oh. Oh. 
Now to go where I just was. Sweet Karina, we've got business to discuss. Don't you remember? Now is not a good time. I'm afraid this is a very urgent matter. A certain investment of yours depends on it. No, no, I, I cannot receive you now. You'd better go. <sighs> Who's in there with you? You haven't told them about the Syntixi, have you? <sighs> what reason? Come back later. So, Karina has some visitors. You lot stay here and observe who goes in and out. I want to know whose side she's on. Got it? Oh, Doesn't yeah, agree boss. with me, going in. She should know better. We'd be the most powerful team of Kembarans ever seen. If Karina Veraza and her cults bear are wrapped up in the Syntixi scheme, why wouldn't she want to talk to him about it? something going on inside that cultivator. Maybe I can find a way in. Hey, the future Echo. You there? Is everything good? I know I said I wanted space, but I went to the Veraza cultivator for some air. Then I saw Zarkon trying to get in, but she wouldn't let him, so I snuck in. But get this, there's Pharaoh's guards all over. Karina and Zarkon in cahoots would make sense, but Karina and Clan Pharaohs? Something's up. <laughs> what's Red doing here? What? Focus, Echo. You need to figure out what's going on over there. I've got to make sure Red's okay. This isn't a safe place to be, especially with all these pilties around. All right, fine. Just keep it quick, okay? I can't wait around for you. Have you ever considered using time travel? <laughs> Oh, I walked over this thing and it tried to eat me. Yeah. Light the light. These look like they blow up even more than one. Oh. I like that. Gotta hit him twice when they blow up here. There's a whole new meaning to if at first you don't succeed. Try try again. This place sure is alive. What the? F oh, these things blow the fuck up. Oh, 
I was gonna try to, uh, uh, just fucking right bumper and jump between all three of them, but they still blow up if you do that. Pick them up. to go through the spikes when they visit this cultivator. So many plants. Hilties. That's Hilties. Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are annoying. At the least. Okay. It has fucking made launcher. Oh, this thing. the hard way you'd better speak up now if you want to avoid talking to her Oop, i've told you Camille. everything since tixie crystals are a point destra invention i've nothing to do with them your chemical experiments here are no mystery corinna we know you struck a deal with sarkhan he wanted me to run some tests that's all but that muck is so volatile so i, I gave it all back i don't believe you you're still storing Syntixi for the Poindestras. No! Well, not anymore. Your word is weak, Veraza. You ought to speak up and tell us where your stash of Syntixi is now, before our Intelligencer gets here. Damn! What did she do with her Syntixi stash? And that box looks kinda... Wait a second. Yellowish. These crates are covered with Syntixi dust. And it's addressed to Drake and Vale Poindestra. Oh my god. So Drake and Vale have a big stash of Syntixi now. Good to know. Hey, I just heard something interesting. It sounds like Karina Veraza was working with the Poindestras at one point. It makes sense. Kim Barons like to stick together in tough times. But she gave all her Syntixi back to Drake and Vale. I found a shipping crate with their names on it. Karina must be scared if she's spilling secrets. There was something about an intelligencer on the way. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find Red, and then meet me at the top of the cultivar. Oh. Well, maybe you should just leave her be. With all these guards around? I'll be quick. Don't worry. Oh, uh, he knows something. Oh, Cease bud. now! Remain in place! You're not gonna be able to push me around, buddy.
Oh, I can parry that thing? Boom, bitch. I'll take it. Even if it did come from Piltover. Free shit, free shit. Thank. Okay. Finally. First off, I'm ready. I can double jump now. I haven't got double jump in a game. It just feels weird. These guys. All right, bud. Roll them on the run. Them. <laughs> Only took me longer than I expected.
<laughs> oh, is this that the little area? That you can go? Not notice. Wonder who this intelligencer is. Kidding me? These fucking like world ender fucking Just know it knows you're gonna burn through rewinds. You want to do it perfectly. <laughs> really, just want to hit you with spikes too. Watch, we're gonna go into a boss fight with three. Oh no, nope, there's of course more. Hey, tell me more about what things are like in the future. What do I invent? What do all my friends get up to? You know I can't really get into that, Echo. I gotta be careful not to mess everything up and tell you too much. Come on. Just a hint? Does Lim get to help more animals? Do, do I still have that ugly sweater Red made for me? Yeah. I still have that sweater. Okay. And Lim does help more animals. But he'll help a lot of kids, too. So will Rungs. Ellie and Axe go on to have a lot of adventures. Okay, that's it. No more out of me. <sighs> All right. Got a feeling a lot of them are dead. Yeah! 
thought he died for a sec. This is your full new set for the area. Honestly, the map's really small overall. Whoa. What was that? Things can never just be calm and normal, can they? I think that is Camille. Oh, there she is. Red's not wrapped up in this Centixi business too, is she? All right, what's she doing here? Red, what are you doing here? Hey, Echo, I'm hanging out with some of the inks. You should come in. You can meet Chad. He's kind of my new boyfriend. Oh, um, okay. Don't worry. The guards won't bother us here. That's Chad. <laughs> Who's this? This is my, um, friend, Echo. Hey. <laughs> hey. Couldn't find a mirror? Oh, <laughs> that's just his look. What brings you guys up here? We came up to check out the view of the city. You know, after the spire burned. The shattered glass is really pretty. It sparkles when the light hits it. That's romantic, I guess. <laughs> uh, no. We wanted to see the buildings that got smashed up. We can see all the fires better from up here, too. Sure. Have I seen you around before, Echo? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Real mysterious guy you brought me, Red. Echo is an inventor. He makes all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, yeah? Anything that might be interesting to me and the Inks? Probably not. You know, like little gadgets and toys made from scraps. Uh, we helped make a new pair of wings for a bird once. Right. Cool. Well, we really don't do stuff like that. We like to make a bigger statement. We're actually about something. <laughs> We're right. actually about something. Well, I've actually got to run. Nice seeing you, Red. I'll catch you later. Actually, Red's going to be hanging out with us later. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye, Echo. I'll see you um, <laughs> sometime. I love how he just has like the, the hair flip over. Wow. What a dick. Yeah. Where to go but up and out of here ah back in the city air what oh. the Hello, based on your reaction you don't seem to know who i am i know who you are. Oh, no i definitely know a pilty when i see one ah uh, what charming deductive reasoning I am the principal intelligencer of Clan Feros of Piltover. Can we skip this? What do you want with me? Certainly. Time waits for no one. Except you, Echo. Clever child with a temporal manipulation device. Am I a man of mystery up in Piltover? On the contrary. <laughs> you're a noisy little boy. Clan Pharos is the largest proprietor of Hextech crystals and technology in all of Runeterra. We track everything that goes in and out of our laboratories, including the lost crystal splinter in your... Mm, what do you call it? Zero drive? Why haven't you come after me sooner then? Until this moment, you've been nothing but a mild distraction. However... You're now interfering with my agent's investigation of the Poindestra family. I have but one option to straighten this unfortunate mess out. Go home? Terminate your timeline. I see. Oh. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. You're gonna kill a child. A clever child with a temporal manipulation device might not be an enemy you wanna make. 
I don't believe my hex honed blades are an enemy you wish to make. Oh. Cannot escape me. Oh. You're dragging this out. I to parry that. I'm not sure if I can. Precision is paramount. Yeah, that's red. She started it. This one isn't. Right, bitch. I'll take it. I see you've met Camille. Camille. <laughs> yeah, I've met Camille. Two echoes. <laughs> what? No, he, he's not. It is plain to see you've managed to invent a method to go even further back in time and have met up with your younger self. She's good. <laughs> what are you looking for in your past? Investigating Syntixi crystals. Why are you telling her our plan? <laughs> Poindestris created Syntixi by supercharging our Hextech crystals. Clan Pharos does not support this kind of dangerous experimentation. And I intend to put a stop to it. That spire collapse was just one example of how dangerous Syntixi can be. And I fear the Poindestras have further examples in store. Actually, they've been gathering up Syntixi around the city since the spire collapse. Karina Veraza gave the stash she was hiding here to Drake and Vale. Hmm. Perhaps we should work together. Yeah, now that I beat your ass. What? Well, we all want the same thing. Don't we? The Poindestras will be shipping that cache of Syntixi. If you can prevent this cargo from reaching its destination, I can seek out the remaining siblings. Consider it done. You will find Syntixi being loaded into the Poindestras' secret chain crawler. 
Head it off before it arrives. Good luck, Echoes. Hmm. You gotta be kidding me! She's a pilty! Yeah. And you're racist. You just gave us a good <laughs> take on the crystals. Alliances aren't bad, Echo. Neither are they permanent. Right now we have a job to do. I'll call you once I've located the chain crawler. Sargon asked if I was working with Clan Pharaohs. And now I guess I am. I don't like where this is going. I guess I could catch up on a few things while Future Echo looks for the chain crawler. Maybe my friends can tell me more about Camille too. Just don't trust her. I have one figure for him. Hey. Ah, the Steel Shadow. Well, she's quite a legend in Piltover. Camille does not appear much in public, but her work is seen and feared by many. What exactly is her work? Collecting intel on any activities that may interfere with Clan Pharaohs. And she's good at it. <laughs> more machine than woman now. It's on, she's more of a monster. Like in the nursery rhyme. Hmm. I wasn't aware there was one. Keep your fingers out of pockets, keep your fingers off the green. Else a lady with stilettos will come and slice them clean. Camille, eh? I always felt like uh, Arcane kind of screwed up Echo's lore. But I guess not. Well, let me think. So. So he was the leader of the fireflies doing like invention stuff. And then he goes to this. Where he becomes kind of the steampunk fucking fuck you kind of dude. Kind of more lone wolf. Solo. Uh, 